Hey everyone, Tanner here and welcome back to something completely new to the channel. In this video I'll show you how I made a new, naturalistic setup for my brother's tricolor burrowing scorpion. This is by no means intended to be a care guide for the scorpion, just a setup video. So without any delay, let's get right into the build. To start, I got a standard 10 gallon aquarium and some egg crate light diffuser. Using wire cutters, I then cut out a section of egg crate that could fit into the aquarium. What I'm making here is an egg crate structure similar to a false bottom. Afterward, I cut out two sections near the front of the aquarium. These will be used as access points for the scorpion to go underground. From there, I determined how tall I wanted the structure to be. Using the wire cutters, I proceeded to cut out a few more pieces of egg crate. With all of the pieces sized accordingly, I used some zip ties to attach all of the pieces together. Then I got a roll of cocoa fiber liner and cut a few strips with a pair of scissors. Using some more zip ties, the cocoa fiber liner was then attached to the sides and underside of the egg crate structure. Next, I placed the structure into the aquarium and turned it on its side. Using a china marker, I then marked the underside of the aquarium. From there, I got a sheet of fiberglass window screen mesh and attached it to the top of the egg crate using some more zip ties. After getting it properly attached, I snipped off the excess zip ties and trimmed down the mesh. With the false bottom structure now complete, I grabbed a bag of Zoomat excavator clay and dumped it into a bucket. Then I poured in a few cups of clean water and kneaded it into the clay until it became a consistent mixture. Next I got a few slabs of sandstone and began setting up the tank. Using the guides on the bottom of the tank, I layered up some clay and stones. Initially, I wanted this area to be visible so that you could actually observe the scorpion in its burrows. However, as I went through the build, it just didn't work out how I planned. Had I done this build differently, I would have just skipped the egg crate portion and filled the tank completely with excavator clay. Then I attached some of the clay to the cocoa fiber liner on the egg crate. Again, at this point, I still wanted this portion of the setup to be visible. Otherwise, I wouldn't have wasted the time to make this look nice. Next, I placed the false bottom into the enclosure. Using clay and stones, I then scaped the left opening to make it look like a hole going down into the ground. At this point, I realized that the way that I made the false bottom wasn't going to work with the side exposed. Poor planning on my part, but I decided just to fill the side in with some clay instead of redoing the whole setup. Then I repeated the same process on the right side of the setup. From there I started transitioning into the land area of the tank using more clay and stones. Then using a few pieces of cork bark I got a general idea of where I wanted them placed. With a good idea of where I wanted them I built up a few mounds of clay. Next I started putting some substrate into the setup. Here I'm using my typical ABG mix which is generally used for tropical setups, but with the absence of water it will actually dry out pretty quickly and will be quite suitable for this setup. Plus this is the same substrate that my brother is currently using for the scorpion so it's already accustomed to it. Then I put the cork bark into position and dumped some substrate into the burrows. 
Afterward, I used a fan brush to make the openings look a little nicer. That said, the scorpion is definitely going to rescape this to its own design, so I'm not being too particular with it. Next, I put down a thin layer of dry cocoa fiber, just to make things look a little more arid. Then I added a thin layer of leaf litter and other botanicals to help make this tank look more natural and to make a home for our cleanup crew. Afterward, I topped everything off with a thin layer of sand. Like the cocoa fiber, this is mainly just to help create a more naturalistic look. To finalize the aesthetic, I got some fake plants and added them to the setup. Originally, I didn't want to add plants at all, but I'm really glad that I did. Also, since this isn't my personal setup, I kept it simple with some fake plants. Then I added a water dish and filled it up with some water. Of course we gotta add some springtails to make this setup bioactive. Finally, I taped some black paper on the back of the aquarium. Now let's add the scorpion and enjoy.